All right, so I built this trailer a little over a year or so ago and pretty much as soon as it rolled out of the shop, it was pressed into service being the shop dumpster. As you can see from what's hanging off the top there, it's full of cardboard and packaging material and uh, just trash out of the shop and a little bit of brush I had to uh, knock down over there. This is made in Voyage on the road. Looks like a heavy pig pulling it with the new Kubota. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. I've not kept a battery in this thing. Well, okay, so quick recap. This used to be a, uh, basically a dump truck. It was more like a grain truck. The cab was like here, engine, transmission would have been there. I took everything out of it. I put some trailer axles under it. They have electric brakes and I rigged the hydraulics um, with a electric over hydraulic pump that runs off of this battery, which I just put in, it should be mostly charged. And uh, I was gonna set it up to run off the tractor's hydraulics, but a bunch of people told me it was a terrible idea and never do that. I realize they don't have a clue, so that's what I'm gonna do next time. But anyway, that's how I built this. Let's hope the wheels stay on it, because I've never taken this outside this yard before. Alright, so this thing is really heavy. This is probably the heaviest thing I've had behind the tractor. I don't know how much of that weight is in trailer and how much of it is in trash. Uh, but I know that the round balers both weigh five to 6,000 pounds and through there. This feels like it's about a third heavier than that. So, uh, yeah. Now, I'm hauling this in today because we've gone a while without rain. Hey, I think I can grab another gear here. Uh, because we've gone a while without rain and as you can imagine a lot of that being that it's cardboard and whatnot It's very absorbent and uh, I figured I wanted to wait as long as possible So that way all that stuff would have a chance to dry and to evaporate as much as it's going to Therefore I would not be paying the landfill to take uh, basically water So this is as far as I can push my luck. It was actually supposed to rain today I thought I was gonna have to do it like in another week or so but uh, the rain never materialized and uh, that's fine with me I mean look at this absolutely beautiful day here in Texas so oh, what a beautiful thing don't mind me just rolling through the sticks with thousands of pounds of junk <laughs> Woo! all right yeah these uh, these roads here this is how most of the county is where I live and uh, not the greatest visibility, and if someone's coming the other way, it's kind of difficult to maneuver that. Because they're not really two lanes wide, they're like one and three quarters of a lane wide, so everybody has to drive in the ditch. I would kind of be okay with that not happening since I'm pulling this monster behind me. Oh yeah! They make you wear a hard hat and a reflective vest. I don't have a reflective vest, so I just brought the only thing that's reflective, which I have, which is a super friggin' warm sweatshirt, and it's like 90 degrees out today, so that should be fun. And uh, yeah, I have never been here. We'll find out how much this costs for everything. Do I go this awards? Not hard to 
hard to stop. Come on, have some extra throttle. It's not hard to stop because the brakes on this tractor are awesome, but it is a lot harder than anything else I've pulled. There's definitely some weight in this thing. We'll go here so hopefully I don't fall off that little ledge. Okay. I hope this works. in there from all the from all the uh, from the Gatorade and that's gonna be better for the seals that way it keeps them energized and ready to get some good quality work done so yeah I mean it sucks I'll have to drain all that out and refill it with proper hydraulic fluid but it got the job done sort of they had to come in with a big uh, forklift deal and sort of rake out everything but whatever they got it done and this thing man it I could swear if I wanted to that this weighs half as much as it did I gotta go figure out how much this uh, ten dollar job is gonna cost me. Nineteen hundred and forty pounds. Ah, oh. that was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And I can finally take all this stupid stuff off now. Now I'm gonna get off this scale first. Yeah, a little under time. I thought it was going to be more than that, but like I said, I mean, you guys saw it was in there. It's mostly cardboard and a little bit of brush, so really nothing that really weighs all that much. And, uh, yeah, so that cost me $91 reduce, plus probably $20 bucks in hydraulic fluid and $20 bucks in, uh, in fuel to come out here, roughly. Yeah, probably somewhere around there, guessing by looking at this gauge. So... I really cannot complain all that much. I'm very happy with the way this went. Hopefully we make it home safe and sound. Kind of have to plan ahead on this sort of thing. But I don't have anything going on this afternoon because we're in between bailing. That's what I did yesterday. And waiting for rain like it was supposed to do today. Uh, okay, we're supposed to drive out of here. Yeah, so we're in between bailing and rain. So I have a free afternoon. Really no time is ever free time around here you guys know how that goes 
but uh, I didn't have anything specifically that I needed to do. So not a bad use of like two hours at this point, probably like three hours by the time I get home. So, uh, uh. I would have guessed it would be more than a ton by the weight difference. But, you know, what do I know? All I know is this thing's pulling a lot easier. Well, maybe it isn't. <laughs> Going up a slight hill. It's chugging pretty good. Yeah. All right, I got this unhooked. This time I'm gonna think ahead. As you can see, I've jammed some uh, scrap lumber underneath this thing, so the top of it is tilted backwards at a much more noteworthy angle. It looks like it's super extremely tilted, but this isn't level ground. So like the bottom rail is going this way and the top one is, I mean, it's five to 10 degrees tilted. And uh, yeah, extremely happy with how everything went. I did do a foolish thing and forget to check the oil in this, but whatever, it's just the way it goes. And uh, we didn't lose a wheel or anything. So very, very happy. And uh, yeah cannot complain this Kubota for the size of it you know the bigger the tractor the nicer it is to take on the road because the bigger machines are a lot more stable they absorb the bumps a lot better but this thing between the overdrive and the nice sound system and the AC I really like it it's not a perfect tractor but it's a very good tractor it's nice to just be able to start something up make sure it has oil check the fluids and just you don't screw with it you just use it it's awesome so yeah uh, well, that's the adventure for this afternoon. Thanks for watching.